Hello, welcome to module 3 of APSC 2008 Digital Electronics and Computer Interfacing. In module 2, we talked about some basic electronic components and we also introduced uh, semiconductor um, components. So we started off with diodes and we talked about transistors. Then transistors, like we talked about, like how we can use transistors as a uh, amplifier as well as a switch and using transistors as switch allows us to build some gates and we uh, talked about like basic gates although we didn't dig deeper about gates so gates could be used uh, for um, like adding multiplying uh, binary numbers and we could also uh, use them as multiplexers, uh, demultiplexers. So these are all um, devices, like say, which uh, lets you um, say, for example, you have a signal, like like a telephone. Um, you make a call. You have uh, millions of customers connected um, to your phone. You can call pretty much anyone. And, but like you will have to exactly connect to the person like who you requested to contact actually. So uh, that is like a very big example though, like uh, to imagine, but like say multiplexers does a, a job something uh, similar to that. So uh, we didn't really get into the applications of gates, uh, but for now uh, we are kind of elevating it to another level where like we use these gates to build uh, say a complex devices uh, called as microprocessors and microcontrollers. So these microcontrollers uh, are what uh, is kind of the heart or like the brain, like whatever you would like to call of uh, Arduino. Um, so that is what we're going to introduce in this module and um, we will uh, briefly talk about microprocessors, microcontrollers uh, and single board computers and then like we will uh, carry on with uh, programming the software uh, that runs this Arduino. So let's get started. So what can you expect from this module? By the end of this module, you will be able to understand single board computers. SPCs and its advantages and Arduino is like say one of those single board computers um, is like a family of one of those uh, single board computers and uh, we would specifically uh, talk about or like we'll explore Arduino Uno and Arduino IDE which is like the integrated uh, development environment for Arduino um, so where we write the program and uh, we talk uh, about the IDE itself and then what do we write in it let's say we start with coding so we'll be coding in Arduino C and we'll perceive like how it is similar to ANSI C and C++ actually so um, ANSI C and C++ are, like, say, uh, hardcore, high-level languages, like, that we use. Still, like, say, we use, like, a lot of uh, C and C++ uh, in uh, a lot of applications, actually. So, um, Arduino C is uh, not as comprehensive as those programs. Uh, you can only use Arduino C in this context of Arduino. Uh, or like any, uh, let's say Arduino Uno, or let's say any uh, Arduino in that family, actually. So we can use to program them, but let's say the concepts would be like very similar to uh, what you uh, often would be using uh, with C or C++. So we'll code um, awfully lot in this module, and we'll uh, talk about, let's say, different, um, say, structures, um, and uh, variables and the data types and all those things so there are like some um, jargons that are associated with coding we will talk about those and towards the end like we'll uh, get started with some applications so some real hands-on stuff so we will do some uh, simulation um, and we will also uh, try to execute them in a breadboard 
so it's going to get like more real and like useful so that's what you can expect from this module so let's get started with single board computers so single board computers like you can also call them microcomputers so these microcomputers are uh, printed on a single printed circuit board so if you see a computer like a, a regular like personal computer pc or like um, a Mac machine or something. So you would have like multiple PCBs. Um, so you will have like a, a graphics card, you will have uh, a RAM, you will have like everything is gonna be separate. So you will have like a lot of uh, different PCBs. Uh, so what this allows you is like, it allows you to customize your computer. So let's say you wanted to create your um, uh, RAM, for example, so you can do that say just like you'll have to remove the old uh, card and then like say plug in a new card so this card is like one pcb but like say in microcomputers so you have an entire computer so you have uh, microprocessors microcontrollers uh, or like say you will have uh, ram you will have uh, io devices say for example like if you wanted to again like we'll have um, interfaces for those so um, for example if you want to connect a keyboard uh, using uh, a bluetooth or like say uh, our hardwire them uh, using a usb cable or uh, something like that uh, then you would need interfaces for those uh, so it would carry all those interfaces although it will not just um, have a keyboard in them um, for but like say although like there are like few like there's something called raspberry pi 400 um so which will be a keyboard like that has the entire computer um so there are like say uh some single board computers like that um but again um uh so there are like a lot of uh things out there oh, sorry about that a um, lot of single board computers up there. So again, let's say the most common one, uh, what and what we'll be uh, reading in this course is Arduino. And there's something also called Raspberry Pi, and we have uh, something called Jetson Nano. Uh, Arduino and Raspberry Pi are like kind of open source, all their hardware are open source. If you wanted to make a clone of Arduino, uh, you have all the CAD files available. You can send them um, to a assembler um, anywhere, like say in the US or like in China, and then they would be able to print you a clone actually. So that should be possible. Um, so you can do things like that. Uh, so it's all open source, but like NVIDIA Jetson is not, uh, but like still I have them. So you can say, if you're like comfortable with using Arduino, uh, you can like start using uh, Raspberry Pi. So Raspberry Pi can uh, run a full-fledged uh, operating system. Here you will see in Arduino, we will not be running any operating system. So it does have, um, we'll be pro programming the microcontrollers or like the microcomputers that are present uh, in the Arduino, um, but it will not hold any operating system or something like, uh, which is like a complex architecture which we will not be using but say raspberry pi and jetson nano so they'll be able to run uh, say um, ubuntu or like say a linux operating system or like a windows operating system and raspberry have uh, raspin operating system so you have like a lot of uh, operating systems like that so uh, you can uh, run all those things there but like here in Arduino, you don't have that option and um, so there is a difference between why yeah we already have uh, pcs uh, pretty much everyone here will be using a personal computer uh, you have a laptop or a desktop and uh, how different is that from a microcontroller uh, which is present in an arduino so in a regular pc like say we have uh, these user inputs often like we feed them so we have uh, gui so like gui graphic user interface like we use a mouse to click something so it opens up an application or something like that here in a microcontroller like usually like we use microcontrollers where you don't have any human interaction we just have a program so we um, we call it burning them so we burn them uh, say when we um, 
when we are confident, okay, so this is my objective and this is what my microcontroller want to do. I will write a program, I'll burn my program into the microcontroller and then that microcontroller is going to do the same job over and over again uh, for the rest of its life. So mostly that's how, um, say for example, like the, uh, the uh, microwave oven you have at your home or uh, the regular conventional ovens uh, or the range, the cooking range you have, or washing machines and things like that, like they are fitted with microcontrollers. So these microcontrollers are programmed to do the same thing over and over. So uh, that's what microcontroller is used for. But here in Arduino, we use microcontrollers. We can program them, but like again, we can change them and we can also interact with them, uh, but like not as much as uh, your personal computers actually. So we will not be just giving commands. We will not be working along with that. Like we just like give some commands and like it kind of executes that. And right now, like, although like we say single board computers and uh, the main purpose of these single board computers are like, they are very less expensive. Um, so you can get Arduino for like maybe around $30 and a Raspberry Pi, a recent one, like say maybe $100, $100, dollars or something around that. Just a nano around the same price as well. So, but there are like say computers that are available. Um, they would call them single board computers, but they are like more or less like a computer. So we do have them as well. But again, the ultimate objective of the having these single board computers is to do some simple projects actually. So which will be like really a low level so you can interact with uh, say other devices and things and you can interact with sensors. You can do all those things. So that is the ultimate objective of having single board computers. Although these days, like say, the single board computers are also becoming very powerful and they can handle like say complex uh, things actually. So that is about single board computers. Uh, and in the next uh, sub module, we will talk about Arduino Uno. And that's where we'll get started. See you in the next subsection.